What's good, Black Star Podcast? Welcome back to the channel. This is your boy Jared. And, um, <sighs> y'all, black women's fucking image overseas is trash. Now, this is a story coming from Bali. Two black women, one of US, uh, one American, and one British woman is facing up to two years in prison in Bali, Indonesia following their arrest for allegate for allegedly attacking nail salon staffs uh, nail salon staff on December 4th over a payment dispute the tourists I'm not even going to say their identities but one's from London and one's from New York reportedly became uh, agitated when they could not pay for the additional treatment they requested from the salon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The altercation captured on CCTV disp- uh, depicts uh, Chandler, Ch- well, Chasler, or whatever the fuck his name is, seemingly grabbing a salon clerk by the collar and pull- uh, pulling her over the counter. While Andrea vehemently insists that they are att- attempting to pay for the service, <laughs> let me show you this goddamn video. Shout out! Shout out to Big Truck Series and Review. Oh, or uh, Passport Bros. Uh, business Class. Let's let's take a look at this damn. CCTV uh, footage from these two ladies. But let me tell you what I'm not going to do. What I'm not going to do is I'm not going to disrespect any of the laws of the countries that I'm in. What I'm not going to my passport book. What I'm going to do is we're going to take a little review back over this video. This woman is shown to be grabbing this salon clerk about to pull her ass over the fucking counter then she lets go now this entire counter is is moving now look at this part this woman said fuck this shit came from a back behind this goddamn counter and you see this lady right here trying to hold this woman back because she about to give us some of that good old jujitsu or whatever uh, fighting style this woman knows. And about to bop this bitch upside the head. Now, look at this shit. She got a with her. Damn near about to knock her ass over it, along with this, with this right here, this counter right here. And now she's yelling at her talking about relax when this woman over here literally was aggressive in the first place. Did I get any service on? I'm a, no, no. 
Now, let me bring it back to me. Now, although I've never been to Bali, Indonesia, or Indonesia in general, I do understand that their laws differ from ours. Their culture differs from ours. Now, I don't know if you heard it, but that woman was British that was yelling back at the clerk. The one that was that damn near about to pull the chick over the damn counter was, I believe she was American. Now, let me ask you something. If you don't have the money on hand, why would you ask for an additional service if you know that... You don't have money on hand. First of all, if you don't have cash on hand, I wouldn't be going to a an ATM in their country at any particular spot because you don't know if they have have uh, tracers, have anything that can potentially get the coding the code for your ATM or hell even the damn the damn um coding sequence that your card uses or the RFID chip uh, RFID uh, chip uh, data from your credit card or debit card on the machines. You don't know any of this stuff. So my question is this. If you don't have the cash on hand, you specifically budgeted for a certain amount that you're going to be spending at this particular uh, nail salon or massage parlor or whatever the fuck it was. I wouldn't be sitting there acting like a bitch in another person's country. That's simply how I feel about it. Now, as I stated before, this woman was very aggressive and everybody around the world knows the temperament of a lot of black women, specifically a lot of Western black women. Sorry, I'm still getting over uh, a cold. So, this these women were literally in another person's country trying to hem them up. And now these women have gotten arrested and facing two years in a jail in Bali because of their actions. <laughs> Oh boy. A lot of you ladies don't realize that when you go outside of the uh, go outside of the UK or the US there are very different rules for you than the citizens of said country. First of all, you shouldn't even be putting hands on somebody. That's the first problem. Your hands should be to your damn self. You should not be even touching another person because you don't know how that person is going to react. That's the first thing. The second thing is you acting like you belong in said person's country because you believe that you are above them. Let's keep it a stack here. We all know that a lot of Americans have that God complex. That we all know that they have a God complex when it comes to traveling overseas. And why is that? A lot of Americans have that God complex due to the fact that a lot of Americans believe that our currency could keep us from getting our asses whooped. These people don't give a fuck about you or give a fuck about me. They simply don't give a damn. And a lot of women are going over to these different countries acting like they big and bold and are getting steadily checked by these different locals. We saw the woman that got arrested in Dubai. The truck driver got arrested in Dubai because she was supposedly yelling. 
That was national news. There was another woman that was doing something else that didn't get as much national attention. Now we got this situation in Bali. That's probably going to get national attention because of the severity of the situation from both the U.S. and from the U.K. When black men are telling you that you need to level check yourself and check yourself, there's a reason why we tell you that. Me personally, I don't give a fuck. You can do what the fuck you want to do and say what you want to say and you can get arrested, get your ass whooped all you want. I don't fucking care. I'm sorry. I really don't. But when it comes down to it, y'all go over to these countries thinking you big, bold, and brave. Thinking them hips, thinking that uh, that coochie of yours is going to save you, save you from getting your, uh, your ass whooped. No. And let, let's let's keep it a, let's keep it a buck here. Oh girl, the little little short Asian chick. She stepped to her like she was a nigga. Let's go keep it a buck here. She stepped to that lady like she was ready to throw them hands. She literally was like, "Yo, let's 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 go." Since you want to since you want to sit here and put your hands on me, okay, cool. Let's let's go ahead and get them hands. Let's go ahead and start throwing them motherfucking hand. She was ready. She wasn't playing. She wasn't playing no games. Little Asian chick was like, "Yo, since you want to put hands on me, cool. While you in my country, I get all the right to whoop your ass." She said, I get all the right to come over there and whoop your ass. Come over there and whoop, give you these hands. Give you these little small mini me Asian hands. And we gon' and we gonna see how you gonna stack up. That's what this woman was basically thinking. Look how she walked up on her, bro. It, it wasn't no damn games being played. She did not care. <laughs> her whole demeanor changed. She went from small, petite, innocent. To we about to throw hands like we ain't got damn Kung Fu Panda or some shit. Bruh, she wasn't having it. Black woman, let me let me explain something to y'all. Just coming from a brother. You keep on fucking with these Asian people. You keep on fucking with these these uh Hispanic people going to their country talking shit. You keep on going to DR, Brazil, Colombia, um, Costa Rica, Jamaica, Thailand, Philippines, and now Indonesia. You gonna catch some hands if you try some shit like that. The tension is already building up. Y'all already didn't talk y'all shit about these damn different women in these countries. These women don't care. These women that raised, wasn't raised in America where we spoke, where they supposed to feel sympathy for you because you live because your ancestors were enslaved they didn't grow they didn't grow up learning that shit they grew up equal opportunity and that means equal opportunity ass whooping that's what that mean y'all keep going over to these countries thinking you big and bold and these women these women and these men in these different countries are gonna start showing you where your rightful place is and that's at the bottom that's what they're gonna tell you they're going to say, you belong at the bottom, and we're going to show you that you belong at the bottom. So keep on talking shit. Keep on going over there, acting like you big, big, bold, and brave, and they're going to um, thank you royalty. Keep on thinking that. Keep on thinking it. Because I'm going to be covering another story like this, uh, except that story going to say, that story is going to say, black women went over to the Dominican Republic and got her ass whooped because she was talking shit. And I'm make sure I put that black woman got her ass whooped for talking shit in the Dominican Republic and got her ass beat by Dominican women and got filmed on camera in 4K definite uh, 4K high resolution uh, high resolution. You gonna be you gonna be over, coming back to the U.S. in a damn uh, uh, with a damn uh, black eye to your cheering over there talking about ma over there talking about mommy what's wrong? Oh nothing, baby. Mama just got 
Mama just got um got roughed up a little bit, but she'll be all right. Knowing damn well you got your ass whooped by because you was talking shit and you didn't know what to shut the fuck up. Oh well, we're gonna be covering another one of these stories, probably the beginning of 2024. And mark my words, there's gonna be some angry motherfuckers talking about why you why are you talking about her? She was she got she got um she got a, she got accused of trying to steal, trying to walk out, not trying to pay her bill. Ma'am, I don't care what the fuck you just, you got to say about it. If you don't have the money on hand for you to actually pay pay for that shit, don't even ask for it. If you ain't got the money for it. And secondly, don't be going to another person's country thinking that you own that bitch because you're an American or you're uh or you're a UK citizen. Just don't. Because these people don't give a fuck. They don't care who you are, where you come from. They going to give you them hands like it's like it don't even matter. They equal opportunity ass whoopers out there. And I'm telling you, that equal opportunity ass whooping you're going to catch is going to be funny as hell. And I'm going to be laughing my ass off while I do it. Anyways, like, share, subscribe to the channel, support the podcast on spotlight.com. We'll see you guys on the flip side. Thank you guys for listening. See you guys later. Bye, guys.